truly there's no me and no not me. There's no reference here to an internal or external space. There's no distinction between what's spiritual and what's not spiritual. There's no distinction here between what's true and what's not true. It's all a refraction of a singular luminosity that I would describe as pure being. And interestingly enough, pure being can also be said to be pure awareness. And the interesting thing is that being is completely empty and awareness reports to nothing. The person mind will undoubtedly find this message threatening. But if your body mind has gained a certain transparency to it lately, then perhaps this will not seem threatening to you at all. Perhaps this is just pure being speaking to pure being. Maybe that's all that's ever happening. Maybe everything is empty. Devoid of meaning. Has no purpose. If these things sound threatening to you, or you find a discomfort arising within you, then you've located those spaces within you that still have attachment to the illusion of a personal identity or a purpose. But if you can let go of those last vestiges and join in just pure being for nothing, for nobody, You'll find this eternal essence that is the basis of all things. And you'll discover that meaning and purpose are just for the person. And they're not necessary for existence. And not only are they not necessary but they're actually contractions within pure being. Pure being is eternal. Pure being is aware. Pure being can never die because 
it was never born. When you join in pure being, and pure being then engages with itself, this is true reality. And it can be said to be peaceful and blissful and harmonious. It can also have all of those opposites. Because truly it doesn't matter what arises within it. It remains unaffected. How could it affect itself if all it is is itself? If all there is is a single self, where could the friction be? Where could the violence be? It would all just be a movement of self. This is the divine self. the true self, the selfless self, the self that takes no ownership of being and no ownership of presence. This is a letting go and a falling away of every concept and contraction of a self. This is liberation for nobody. I'm not sure why these words are being expressed and shared. There's truly no agenda here. But I can share what it feels like. It feels like consciousness has taken a deep interest in itself within humanity at this time and without purpose or meaning and without reason is now engaging with itself in a mere a more pure form. No longer looking through a fractalization of consciousness, it now engages purely for no reason and for no body. It's just what's happening. And there's no desire to place any meaning or purpose upon that. 